all right, this is happening. This is happening, guys. This is it. This is the end of that year that we all had a love-hate relationship with. This is the end of that year. It is New Year's. So, Happy New Year! That was cheesy. That was cheesy. Oh, that we have cleanup to do. Maybe I should have done that somewhere else, but Happy New Year, everybody. Oh my goodness, we all, man, man, have we had a year. This has been a good and a bad year. Wow, it's been a very interesting year. But, this is my year in review special. So, welcome here. I hope I'm not zoomed in too much. I really hope I'm not. But welcome to the special. In this special, we're going to go over some of the moments in uh, my vlog's uh, journey that, uh, yeah, that I think were top-notch, that were uh, worth reviewing. This vlog journey, it all started off... See, I'm still playing with the confetti. Mm -hmm. See, this vlog journey started off like no other. We started, decided one wonderful September day, sunny September day, hence the title, the sun is bright, to film. And it just so happened that it was the day before I would leave for a vacation to Penticton, BC. Guys, welcome to the first kind of vlog day. Uh, I have a very busy day today. We, I leave tomorrow for a vacation. Well, I'm doing some work there. Uh, but I have a busy morning. At weekday morning vlogs are gonna be, well, weekday vlogs are gonna be very different. Uh, I'm gonna kind of cut the vlogging out by around six-ish. 6 p.m. family time, Jill time, gotta get some school work done because of course I'm at school right now. I don't know, see school, yeah. So, and I'm also testing out my phone vlogging camera, so, but I have a better camera that you're gonna use, that I'm gonna use. But tomorrow's gonna be a great day. Um, so yeah, again, uh, I'm gonna check back in with you guys later, but I hope you guys enjoy these vlogs. And uh, yeah, well, I'm gonna cut to something right here. So then it came to the first big, big day the vlog ever seen. It saw a travel day. All right. I am now through the gate, getting on board. I'm not the first though. But that doesn't matter because I'm a traveling economy. And when traveling economy, you're like never the first one. That was exciting. A little bit nerve-wracking as to how people would react with me now holding a camera and to my brother and his, well now fiance, being like, why are you using a selfie stick? Why are you holding it? The looks I got that day from starting this, because I mean, I had done what I called a video journal way back when, and I mean, those clips are way, I don't know where they are, but... So, of course, that was when everybody had to start getting used to Tyson holding a camera. Made it into Kelowna. Okay, so we're here. Now we just gotta get the rental car and get to the house. Another hour drive-ish. My brother's saying an hour five. He's behind no, the camera. No, 45. An hour 45. He's behind the camera giving me cues, I guess. He's not my director. There is this, there is no direction. I'm the director. Anyway. And the thing was, I kept it so secret. I, I kept it, you know, my parents, they were like, okay, he's holding a camera. Like, they didn't really make mention of it. So for a while, I knew they probably knew I vlogged. But they just didn't tell me they knew. But eventually they would know later on. And I would know they would find out. But I started. No matter what people say, and no matter what people told me, I started. I said I was going to start a vlog, and so I did. And we went to vlog number two. And then Penticton continued. I was in a really cold, cold river. And then we, that ended. We did our travel day on the way home. 
And that was the last travel day people would see for for a while. I really have time to give you guys an update. I'm here in Calgary. The aircraft is boarding. I don't have that much time. So I am going ahead to the gate to make sure they hold the aircraft for us. But this is a tight one. This is probably the tightest I've been ever for a connection. So this is the last flight of the day to Winnipeg. So if I miss this one, I'm stuck. So I can't afford to miss this flight. I'm gonna make it. I hope, by the way, enjoy the view, 787. Yeah, this is a newer part of the airport. But I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure they hold it. Because we can't afford to miss the flight. So we're gonna do our best. All right, back to you guys. Possibly on board. Hopefully you make the flight. We'll see. Then I started to go more into regular life. Regular living. Vlogging. 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 <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed yesterday's vlog. It was the special 11th episode. I was very excited. And this is the 12th. Ah, so happy. So right now I'm making my lunch. I'm like running a bit behind schedule. A little bit of stress. But not too much, you know what, nothing to worry. But something really weird happened today. I get to school and major first world problem, but there was no Wi-Fi. And I was like, well, where did my Wi-Fi go? And then I found out the, the administration shut down the Wi-Fi that everybody had the password to. And now we go on a Wi-Fi where we're like monitored and every. But you know what, it's not that bad because it's not like I you know. It's not like I'm doing anything bad on the Wi-Fi. I mean, it's school Wi-Fi. Why would you even? Little did I know that regular living for a vlog would start to get complicated to fit in. And I told you and apologized numerous times. Numerous times. I apologized to you guys for not getting a vlog up on time. Constantly apologizing, saying, I'm sorry, I neglected to edit the vlog, or I neglected to film. You don't know how many times I've done that too many. I'm sorry, and I will try to do, I, I'm sorry, I will try. I will try, try, try so hard not to do that as much in the new year. But again, I do have a life outside of the camera. A big life, a big, big, big life. So I will try my best. And some people, you just come home. Is there a New Year's party happening that I'm not aware about? Anyway. Back to the story. So, I had to get into regular life. Now, little did I know that regular life and vlogging, I'd soon have to start, well, hiding some things from you. See, Senegal was already in the works way after Penticton, even, yeah, after Penticton that came into, really came into play. Maybe before then. I don't exactly know when that, that's happened sometime. Sometime in September that happened. <laughs> Sometime in September, my Senegal plans kind of just came into into the works. But I couldn't tell you that because it was a it could have either cancelled at any minute, could have not worked out. But it started to keep going. And I started to get involved at the local shoebox store, you know, doing stuff there for OCC and really just started to live my life having a camera on me. But wait, hold up. All before this happened, we need to rewind back to Eastman Youth Choir. Okay, oh my goodness, there's piano. Okay, it's day three. Man, I'm losing track of my days. I don't even know what day it is on the calendar. Actually, I can check that right now. It's the 15th. Wow, my time is flying. Anyway. This is Eastman Tour, day three. First off, and Emma, you are Snapchatting this. <laughs> Behind the scenes. Hi. <laughs> that was the biggest special that I've ever done was the Eastman Youth Choir specials. I remember that time. We're not gonna look back too far because that's a lot of looking back on that. But I mean, that was... After EMYC wrapped up, well, it didn't quite wrap up, but I mean, it, it, it fit, wrapped up, I mean, fairly smoothly. I mean, then we started to get serious. We started to talk about certain issues that were close to my heart, like 
anti-bullying was one of them, or somewhat near that theme. But I mean, that was when the dramas of school got caught up. And I still stick with the thing, you know, some things, you know, you don't want certain things to get too caught up in the vlog. I mean, I, I, I don't want to complain. I don't want to, you know, sit here and be like, well, nah, life sucks. Things were just starting to get a little bit difficult. But I mean, we went to Wee Day. We did church camp and all that. And that, that was all really, really good. Okay. I look like a mess right now. It's because things are actually kind of a mess. Yeah. Caught in the middle of drama again. I don't, I don't really want to mention much of it on the vlog. Because this is, this is not the place to vent that. Um... I mean, after all this, we went to Calgary, went to the warehouse there. That was really good. That was kind of, I guess, a travel vlog. It was more of a road trippy vlog, but I mean, that was good. That was some good stuff there. Oh yeah, and way back before this, I got lost in a, well, lost in a corn maze. That was, that was a good memory. <laughs> Shana. 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 <laughs> so, it is now, we're now driving to Calgary. We just stopped in Brandon temporarily. You saw me grab that water. That was a really cool shot. You guys are probably like, wow, creative shot. I should have had my phone in the cooler and then just grabbed it and it would have been like, ooh. Where the boxes are, you can post your picture of your experience on social media. So we do just need you to finish up everything at your table for the boxes that are there. kind of started to wind down this year with where we did our final installment of where we saw the Eastman Youth Choir. They were back again and then we, oh, and then I finished it really off with a bang with traveling right close to the end of the year. I did that travel. I did, I'm still working on the vlogumentary. Gonna, gotta start editing that. Anyway, I traveled and that was just a really good way to kind of end the busy stretch off. Okay, hey guys, so it is that day. It is the day where I fly. I got the boarding card right there, and I'm excited, so I'm flying out today. And I always really wanted to make your day, keep you guys wanting to watch. But then it started to come to a point where my video, I won't give up, came out. Well, first we did Christmas. We did Christmas and that was all, ooh, Christmas. That, that was good. That was a good, good Christmas, like lucrative, lucrative. The video that I didn't really want to make, but I, I made it anyway, surfaced. I made I Won't Give Up. That talked about how I don't want this vlogging to consume too much. I... And when I talk about life in behind the camera, life in front, I have a huge life behind the camera. But for me, vlogging is all about authenticity. And I say it all the time, it's about real reality. Being real, being true, being authentic to myself. And if you see me walking around, you know, on these vlogs, like, oh, everything's so good. Everything is just amazing. Things are not amazing behind the camera. I mean, things could be better at points. But I mean, things aren't good enough. So I come to you as me and me alone. I mean, I, there's so many things that are going on right now that 
that can be difficult. I mean, I have exams and I mean, but welcome to school. Welcome to life. Life is full of challenges. I realized that I've made mistakes this year. Like I've never made mis like I've just made, I've made mistakes this year. Many mistakes. I've messed up friendships. I've... I've just done stupid stuff this year. But vlogging was that chance to give me that second chance to... And, and to be who I am and to, sh and to show you guys that this is my life. This is who I am. And I want you guys to know that 2017... It might, to some of you and to me, it means a bit of stress. And it means change, different things. But 2017, for me, people always say, oh, when the calendar switches over, it's a second chance, it's a new year. And then and then the first day of 2017, they make a mistake. Don't don't be down on yourself. If you make a mistake on the first day of 2017, you know you're good. We're all going to make mistakes tomorrow. Let me tell you, or, or today, we're all just going to make mistakes. The first day of 2017, we're going to do stupid things, okay? You might New Year's kiss someone and regret that kiss the next day. I mean, I'm not, you know, look at me, I'm filming on New Year's, editing vlogs, at New Year's Eve, I obviously ain't get no New Year's kiss from anyone. It might all of a sudden be my mom kissing me on the cheek, like, oh, Happy New Year, oh, ew, mom, why'd you do, like, I... We're all gonna make a mistake on New Year's Day. We're all gonna make some mistake. Every day we make mistakes. We all have our own little flaws. 2017 is a year to start new. I've gotten sec- I got a second chance at an amazing friendship and I'm thankful for it. And if you're watching right now, you're amazing. Okay, just, just a little shout out to that. I've gotten second chances at friendships. I've got second, and I mean, I might, uh, I might not get third, fourth, fifth, sixth, I don't know. I don't know how many chances I can get. And I don't know how many chances you can get either. But know this. Sure, 2016 has had its fair share of celebrity deaths, has it had its fair share of, and sure, 27, 2016 had its share of and a president that we didn't really want elected but got elected and I mean I'm look ahead to this new year and say you know what 2016 over and be like thank goodness 2016 is over because guys tomorrow is a new year and this video is probably like uploaded on New Year's Day so it's a new day today it's a new year it's a brand new year you're here I'm here it's a new year be excited because guys this is exciting stuff this is, shouldn't be sad. I mean, some of you know you might have a sad new year ahead of you. There might be something going on. But you should look ahead and be excited for what joys lie ahead. And just be ready that anything can happen. And when bad stuff happens, let's not turn and try and blame a year and throw the blame and be like, well, 2017 sucked. Because I hear tons of you saying 2016 sucked. Like 2016. 2016 actually wasn't that bad. It wasn't. Sure, we lost some amazing people. Sure. But it really wasn't. The world's just changing people. So guys, let's make 2017 great. Let's make 2017 great again. Okay? Well, not again, because it, there was never a 20. But I mean, let's make 2017 amazing. Let's go. So go now. Go. Here. That's a dramatic effect. Dramatic. Dram. dram like, just. Dr bu bu bu. It's focused on me. Look at me in the eye. Let's go. Make 2017 the best year there has ever been been possible. Sure, there will still be fighting. There will still be discrimination at some times. But we've had 2016 already. And there have been so many good, healthy changes for the world this year. There still may be pain. And there still might not be equal rights for some people. 
for 2017's are coming. And let's get ready to change the world. Yeah, because 2017 is gonna kick butt. 2017 is gonna kick butt, y'all. Bring it on, 2017. Bring it. Because we made it through 2016, and if we can make it through 2016, we can make it through 2017. Bring it on. 2017, we are ready for you.